Hey guys, J-Man here, and yes, it is Wednesday, so it's time to talk about the latest X-Men comic book that has come out today, Marauders number one. Okay, so we got Iceman, Kitty, who is now Kate, uh, Emma, Bishop, Pyro, OG Pyro, and um, Storm. That's who's on the cover of this one. This is one of the ones that I thought mm, might be interesting. Check it out. See how it goes. Uh, I do really love um, Kitty. She's one of my favorites. Um, I also like Iceman a lot as well. And everyone likes Emma Frost, right? So come on. But I wasn't sure what this one was going to be about. <clears throat> then when I read a little bit about it, it's going to be kind of like a pirate thing where they're going to be on a boat and stuff. I thought that was kind of neat. So after reading it, I think it's really kind of neat. <laughs> I really like this a lot. Uh, we're gonna go through it real briefly. I'm not gonna use the digital on this one. I've got the physical one. Starts off, <laughs> it actually starts off in a genius way. And I thought this was so funny. So Nightcrawler and Storm. Oh yeah, spoilers, sorry. It's always spoilers on this, uh, on this channel. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, it starts off with, um, Storm and Nightcrawler picking up some mutants and saying come through the uh, Krakoan gateways. So Krakoa creates these little gateways that you can go into and then it, and it teleports you back to um, <clears throat> uh, back to Krakoa. So Kitty's about to enter and this, <laughs> this actually made me laugh out loud, which is great. It's like, whoop. She's like, what the hell? She can't, she can't go through it. And I don't know why, I just thought that was so funny. And then, you know, look at poor Kitty. Look at this. Oh, man. That sucks. She's all bloodied up. That That's poo. You know, I like Kitty. Why are they treating her like crap in this one? Um, it's not explained why she can't go through the gate, so mystery for later. But I actually found that to be really interesting because this whole entire thing has been based on the fact that the mutants can just easily get to Krakoa so literally she literally just gets a boat and is like well I guess I'm gonna travel there uh the white pages on this one gives you a little bit of a breakdown of her day which is great she talks about how she stole a boat and she'll return it and then later she's like yeah you're not getting that boat back um more more funny stuff this is actually the, a lot there's a lot of funny things in this issue um, this, this is great, too. She's like, shows up. It's like, hey, and there's no one there to talk to her or to welcome her, uh, which is great, too. All right. Um, Wolverine is happy to see her because he just wanted his uh, whiskey. <laughs> and he also wanted uh, some ribs, some uh, Canadian whiskey. Canada, right here, Canadian. A. Uh, he wanted some suds. He wanted some Cubano sandwiches. Is that how you say Cuba? I don't know. So he wanted a whole bunch of stuff that she got for him. So that's great. Okay, so then basically um, we're treated to uh, uh, Emma Frost, who is uh, the Hellfire Club. It's like they're not just called the Hellfire Club. They're, they're like, they're a company now. So they're, um, as if, you, if you've been reading the uh, Hawkses and Poxes, you know what's going on with them. So they want to recruit Kitty or Kate. She wants to be called Kate. I know that's an you know that's a thing some of the you know that the writers threw in there that's fine. It's gonna take me a while to get um, to get that. It's probably gonna be Kitty for for a long time by me. I'll get there eventually. Um, so there's some stuff going down in Russia. We got this cool guy right here, right? Which is um, I'm not sure who if he's supposed to be like an upgraded Red Guardian. I don't know. If someone knows, let me know who this guy is in the comments. I don't, I haven't really read Avengers in a long time, so I'm not really sure exactly who that is. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm not really sure. Anyways, so there's some fighting going on. Um, Bishop is doing some side things, which I'm not going to really get into. Nothing's much to handle there. Talk about Pyro a little bit. So basically, this is just getting the team together. Um, Emma, Emma's talking, to, uh, convinces Kitty to be the leader of this team. She calls it the, or Kitty calls it the Marauders, which is great. She gives her a red scarf. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, is Emma Frost saying that this is going to be the Red King? Because um, I know she was trying to recruit the Red King, or we haven't seen who the Red King is. If somebody knows, let me know. 
because I'm not exactly sure if that's supposed to, if she's supposed to be the Red King. There's some good fights in this one. I really like the fights in, in this issue a lot with Kitty using her powers. I always thought she had a cool power. They've utilized it really well in this in this particular issue with her doing like backflips like through tanks and, and shit like that. Like that's pretty cool stuff. There's some there's a wicked thing she does. I was gonna show that to you. Um where is it? Where is it? Oh, you know what? No, I gotta go back. I missed it. It I I I, I normally I gotta go through this and show this to you. It was so cool. So wicked. Where is it? Oh right. She like phased the, the this gun like through their leg can you kind of see what that is that's sick i don't think i've seen that used in that way before um th this entire book was awesome i don't know I, I maybe i'm just maybe i'm just getting like overhyped or whatever but like i thought this would, might be pretty neat ended up really liking it a lot so i'm definitely 100 percent going to continue this one on for sure i'm going to continue them all on even if i don't like them i'll probably continue them anyways because i'm a sucker but um yeah i thought this was really good oh i didn't even notice this here oh my god there's a whole page i this is why you flip through every page in a comic that was a fail i didn't even notice this page here i don't know how i missed that I'm going to have to read. That's why I usually read it digitally. That's what happens because you want to make sure you flip every page. But yeah, um, highly recommended. I really like this one a lot, actually. So um, I'm looking forward to see how this goes. I do like this pirate kind of idea or this idea of being on a boat and going around um, finding the mutants that can't pass through the gates and collecting them up and working under, you know, a Hellfire Club, uh, which is great interested to see where this goes and i like kitty i liked x-men gold which is when she was the leader of that team i didn't read the full x-men gold yet i was collecting it and then when i heard that they're just gonna cancel it i just kind of stopped anyway and i just kept starting anew but uh i always thought she was a great character i'm really liking where this is going so yeah exciting stuff so let me know what you guys thought of the marauders and if you plan on collecting it if you want to continue on with it i'm definitely going to continue on with it so that's it for this wednesday and i will see you next wednesday for i don't even remember what's coming out i know it was written on there maybe new mutants not sure anyway next wednesday we'll see how it goes until next time